welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, as requested on my forum, I will be showing you more methods that will hopefully fix any problems you are having in Call of Duty Warzone, such as dev errors, crashing problems, freezing problems, the game not even launching. Before I do get started, I'd like to also say there is a link in the description below to my forum where I have lots more methods that should hopefully help you fix any issues you are having, if the methods in this video did not help. And if you haven't seen part 1 to this video, then the link to that video is in the description below as well. And the first thing you need to do is click on the other link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We are now going to update our DirectX. You now need to select your language and then you need to press download. You now need to go save file and you now need to run this setup file. And you now need to look at the terms and conditions and agree to them if you're happy and go ahead and press next. We don't want to install Bing so we can deselect that and we can now go next again. And it's now search and see if we have the latest DirectX installed on our machine. And as you can see, I do. So I don't actually need to update DirectX. But if yours is now copying and installing new files, then that's great news. Your DirectX is out of date. Once it has finished installing, go ahead and restart your PC and then launch Call of Duty Warzone. And see if that fixed the problems that you were having. If it didn't, then don't worry, because the next thing we need to do now is open up our documents folder by opening up File Explorer. You now need to navigate to Documents, and you now need to find the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and open this up, and you now need to right click and go to New and create a new folder. We're just going to call this Test and press Enter. And you now need to copy the folders and just simply move them into the test folder. And as you can see, I only have a test folder now and the other two folders are in this folder. Once you have done this, you now need to boot up Call of Duty again. And this will basically reset any settings and graphic settings, anything like that in game. Boot up the game again and then see if that has fixed your problem. And if it did, then that's great, then you can slowly work through the settings until you find the setting that was causing you the issue. And then simply don't change that setting. If you do want to restore back your old settings, then all you need to do is simply select the folders again out of the test folder and just paste them back into the main folder of Call of Duty Warfare and just delete the test folder. Simple. The next thing we want to do is to ensure we have enough disk space. If you don't have enough space on your hard drive, then Call of Duty will crash and it won't run and you will receive all sorts of hard drive errors. As you can see, all my hard drives are absolutely fine. There's lots of space. You need to make sure your main C drive, your Windows drive has enough space and you also need to make sure the hard drive that you have Call of Duty Warzone installed on has enough disk space as well. You can also run disk cleanup which I do recommend you do anyway because this can also help fix any problems. And to do this all we need to do is go down to the bottom left and type in disk and you now need to click on disk cleanup and you now need to select the drive that you want to clean up and the first drive we want to do is our C drive with Windows on. You then need to press OK and just go through the options and just clean up the files basically. And you definitely want to make sure you're cleaning up those DirectX shader cache files as this may also help fix any problems you're having in Call of Duty. Also, don't delete the downloads folder because if you select downloads, then it will delete everything in your downloads folder. So just be a little bit careful. Once you are happy with your options, then you can now go ahead and press OK. But just remember, once you delete it, it is gone from your machine. You won't be able to get those files back. So like I said, just be careful what you're deleting. And I'm now going to go OK and delete files. As you can see, it says permanently delete. And we're happy with that. 
But like I said, the Direct X one is the main one you want to do really, and the temporary files, as these can help fix any issues in Call of Duty. Once this cleanup has finished, you can now go ahead and launch Call of Duty Warzone again and see if that has fixed any of your problems. If that didn't work, then the next thing we want to do is run a check disk, just to make sure no Windows files have become corrupted, which is causing us problems with Warzone. You now need to open up File Explorer and we now need to click on this PC. You now need to right click on your C drive, which is your Windows drive. If you have Windows on a different drive, then right click on that drive. You then need to click on properties. And we now need to click on tools. And you will now see error checking and we want to click on check. You now need to click on scan drive and this will then scan for any errors and problems. And once that has finished, you may need to restart your computer then launch Call of Duty Warzone and see if that fixed the problem you are having. If that didn't work, then the next thing is to make sure you have not overclocked your graphics cards. And if you have, then change the graphics card back to its original default settings. Because if your graphics card is overclocked, then this also can cause a lot of problems in Call of Duty Warzone at the moment. The only other option if you don't want to change any overclocked settings on your graphics card is unfortunately you will have to wait a bit longer until Call of Duty Warzone gets patched up. To make sure your graphics card isn't running any overclocked settings, the first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on download GPU said and also all these links will be in that thread that I told you about in the description below as well. And don't forget to check that thread out like I said, there are lots of other methods that I've not mentioned in this video. You now need to select standard version and press download. And you now need to select the server you want to download from and then go save file. You now need to run the setup file. And you now need to go yes or select no if you don't want the entries to be added to your start menu. You now need to select what options you want to install of GPU set. I'm happy with all these options. And you now need to go next and select where you'd like to install it to. I'm happy with the C drive. And once it has finished installing it will open. And straight away, as you can see, my graphics card here is running the default clock speeds, which is what I want to see. If this is a little bit messed up or the default clock speeds don't look right, then go onto the manufacturer website for your graphics card and just see what the default clock speeds should be. Once you have removed any overclock settings, go ahead and launch Warzone and see if that fixed your problem. The next thing you need to do is make sure you don't have OBS Streamlabs or OBS Studio open as this can be causing crashing problems on your machine as well. If you do have them open then close them down, launch Warzone and see if that resolved your issue. That is it for Windows, we now need to boot up Warzone and there's a few settings in the game that we can change. Once Warzone is open you now need to minimise Warzone and go back to your desktop, but leaving Warzone running, and we now need to right click on our taskbar, and you now need to click on Task Manager. We now need to right click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you then need to click on Go to Details. You now need to right click again on Modern Warfare.exe, and we now need to go down to Set Priority, and we now need to change this to Normal. And you now need to click on change priority again. And that will fix a lot of crashing issues as well. That is actually a really good fix and does fix a lot of the crashing problems. The next thing we need to do now is if you are still having problems is open up Warzone again. And you now need to click on options and we now need to go across to graphics. Once you are on the graphics page we now need to change the display mode from full screen to full screen borderless and you now need to press apply. Once that's finished then it's always a good idea just simply hit the restart shaders installation and press restart. And once that's finished you can then go ahead and see if that has fixed your problems. 
and that is it for this video if you did enjoy this video and want to help support my channel then hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum